from I don't know, what spells are you taking? Okay, trying this again. Research. Hello and welcome. I'm Witch Lodge. Gold gear zero. Gun I'm down here. Seven. A little bit higher is Mr. Nasme, and then Chris, I believe, said his thing is X-Frost. Sean, you look more, uh, Sean, you look more high darkens. quality than you did yesterday. I got my unusual. Pikachu with a hat shirt home, and I have food. Sean. This is a pork yeah. chop, like in Minecraft. You uh, do you know what you spells cook? you're taking for... Because basically, Sean gets like two wizard spells added to his spell book every time he levels. Yep. Yeah, because magic... wizards have power, because, because they're there now. Magic Outside Missile and potatoes. Disguise Self. But I'm eating them with okay. a fork because I'm a barbarian. Oh, and Disguise Self. <laughs> because I'm a deep known, I can use Disguise Self without materials, even without the Arcane Focus. Yay! So it is more or less a cantrip, <laughs> but it still uses up a spell slot. Also, Jeffrey, you see what I got now? <clears throat> you got piss in the bottle <laughs> again. It's a different color. It's Mountain Dew in a Pepsi bottle because I'm a rebel. Just um, like it looks kind of yellow. I'm a murder you. <laughs> <laughs> Not if I choke on this food I'm eating first. You'll die either way. <laughs> Just trying to kill me. Objective achieved. <laughs> you know, and then Sean will it get might to take be useful crazy to have cow. Alder dip a couple levels into Fighter if necessary. Mainly because it's all because Action Surge is really nice to have. <laughs> Plus, it'd be very nice if he could just use Thorn Whip, drag someone over, Action Surge, beat the shit out of them. Okay, we can talk about this later after we've done things. Jeffrey, make us do things. True. Okay. Punching the shit out of people is doing things. We probably won't, we probably, keyword probably, won't be doing much of that. Unless y'all get yourselves into trouble, which is very likely. But anyway, <laughs> we, do have to, we just yeah, have to okay. pull up, you know, the role for a guard because okay. one of us anyway. is pissed off a guard. So where we left off, everyone had woken up from uh, sleep and fighting a witch and whatnot. And I'm going to basically skip a day. So we went back to sleep. We come back up. We have walked a lot. Technically, lot. Sarah didn't sleep that night because didn't sleep any right. more well, than a few hours. You're taking a minus one to rolls then. You ain't slept. <laughs> I meant the but, night with the witch fight. Good yeah, job, Ben. You screwed yourself we're, over. We're, we're skipping a day, so it don't matter. Okay, oh. anyway. We all have all just arrived to the town of Aethelwood. Jeffrey, it's basically the biggest town. This, what did Crazy Eye Steve doing that day? The day that we were walking? Yes. You have to tell okay. us about his shenanigans. There was okay, shenanigans okay. that day. Okay, well, you see, the thing <laughs> is is that he decided that, you know what, I'm going to restart my uh, plant collection. So he <laughs> just pulls up random flowers, and he's comparing them. But he's also asking for people's opinions, and they're not having it. So one of the mercenaries <laughs> who does not like Crazy Ice Steve takes the flowers and stomps on them. Can Crazy it be Ice Sarah? No, it's just a random guy. Crazy Ice Steve doesn't like that. So they get in a little in a little scuffle. Little did the mercenary know that Crazy Steve knows Taekwondo. <laughs> or whatever form of martial arts. So he, he proceeds to flip the mercenary. <laughs> and people decided from that point on they did not want to mess with Crazy Steve. And they listened to his plant stories for the rest of the day. But Alder was sad at the the, the flowers. Yep, yeah, yeah, it did make Alder sad. <laughs> but But little did everyone know that that was actually just a dream. Because that guard actually knocked out Crazy Steve. <laughs> and he woke up around the time that everyone reached Aethelwood. What did we do? Just drag him there or put him on a cart and pull him or what? Well, at this point, he's not really messing with much of y'all. He's just with the big group in general. Yeah, what did they do? Did they drag him? Did they put him on a cart? Or did they just leave him beside the road to run and catch up? <laughs> uh, on a cart, basically. Okay. Because even, even though he's stupid and retarded and annoying... He was sent here, and if people, if the people who sent him here know that he was just dispatched like that, they are not going to be happy. Granted, they don't know who it is, but a lot of high-ranking people sent people here, so they're not going to take any risks like that. You know once we get to that island, there's going to be like a giant meat grinder, and like everyone's going to die except us. Uh, berserk style. <laughs> yeah, no. The eclipse will just happen, and everyone will die. <laughs> Including us. You know Jeffrey's just going to be like, you know what? This is fun shenanigans, but everyone die. Except Crazy Eye Steve. At which point, Crazy Eye Steve goes on a mission to bring us all back. At, at which point, the story resets, and everyone has to make new characters, and I will play as Crazy Eye Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, um, as I found out, Alder can actually find food and water for up to five people, presuming that the area is area has, like, you know, Plant. places to forage. Yeah. Um... Can Alder just go do that and, like, replenish everybody's ration supply? <laughs> yes, but occasionally uh, we'll get berries to give us diarrhea. 
I can just like I can just say that at one of the points where where they stopped yesterday, you did that. So everyone. Yeah, can no. Uh, I, I guess Alder would because he would go and like find berries and probably like come back to Watson with like wa- like water and berries and a bunch of dead squirrels. An entire <laughs> berry tree. <laughs> He's not that strong. <laughs> a tire berry bush. He just he is the berry bush now. He's just absorbed it. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying I could take I he's a druid now. He could just prepare um what is it? Good berry? <laughs> ah, healing berries. <laughs> just growing out of him. We literally eating our teammate. Cannibalism in the second day. <laughs> I don't think it counts as cannibalism when he, the person in question is a plant. Jeffrey, is it cannibalism rule on this? It is self photosynthesis. Okay, anyway, I'm ready, Jeffrey. You have you have satiated my curiosity. Okay. So everyone has gotten to the town, and uh, Chevelle has said, basically, we're staying here for like a day and a half, so do what you want. You know, this is basically the most exciting place in the country, so, you know, have fun. I'm but pretty then... sure most of us haven't seen anything on this scale. Please, Jeffrey, do some fancy. Okay. <laughs> what does this place look like to probably most of us who are uneducated? Please. Have you seen the Ghost in the Shell trailer? With all the 3D freaking holograms and shit we got magic holograms we got people we got people selling shit we got okay i'm I'm gonna lead okay so let's just say y'all are in the middle of now and there's a big board with lots of stuff to do there's the mages quarter the cathedral square the old town the dwarven district Ethelwood keep and the citizens quarter these are all giant places with smaller places y'all can visit inside so uh, i'm going to assume that everyone has decided to stick together Okay. Uh, does this place have a magic library of sorts? In the Mages College, yes. Sarah goes there. Okay. She just... No explanation. She just walks off. She just starts heading over to the Mage College. I, I right. think I can speak for everyone else when saying, at this point, I'd be putting on a big speech and, um... What, what, what's Chris's character's name again? Navarro. Navarro would be, um, playing music. I have Sean on my head with Alder just kind of standing there, you know, absorbing it all, so... Alder's just no, kind of there. Mm-hmm. So. I take it there's a library here, right? Yeah. Watson's head to the library. It sounds like you and... Does Alder go with him or stay with the uh, giant cow and the singing elf? Um, that is... I think Alder would try and go with them, but... Sarah noticing that there's a little gnome following her, and mm-hmm. then the giant plant monster turns around and does mm-hmm. her best to communicate to alder no you stay there with the, yeah. with the with the so, cow and the so guy that, i'm supposed to protect it sounds like sarah and watson are going to the same place then yeah so they're going yes. together I um watson spins they're... around and and asks alder to stick behind and keep an eye on the group okay also and okay he so kind of like trods so off and where does basically Navar- stands next to where navarro. does where does navarro and uh Rusty want to be at when they're doing this. Where is the uh, most populated area that we'd have the biggest crowd that we think we could make money from? Or uh, make money or attention from? Either the Citizens Quarter or in the uh, let's see in near the Cathedral Square there is a law house which is basically like a giant court. I think we So would... I guess do you want to go talk to the plebes or do you want to go talk to the people with actual money? Well, I would mm. probably say we'd want to go to the regular people because that's who I'd want to go to, and regular people are probably going to care. Whereas the snob people are going to be like, "Snobby, your music is bad." Mm-hmm. So common... to, the, to the citizens' quarter. Yep. Okay. Citizens. I need to go to the marketplace at some point and get a decently priced drum. There is. Uh, did I write down trade district? I would assume that would be in the citizens. There's got to be a. Mar- there's got to be. There like a trade is district a trade or district somewhere. There is. Is one. that? Is that like separate or is that in like the civilian? Uh, it's separate. You know what? Uh, just okay. reference for those of you concerned, the average price of a drum is uh six gold pieces. Cool. You almost got ripped off last game. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, if you bought the loot, it was a pretty good deal. Average price of a loot's thirty-five. Oh, thanks. <laughs> that lady didn't know you what she was talking about. She didn't. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> Ten gold pieces for duct tape. Jeez. <laughs> Hey, magical duct tape that may or may not be magical. <laughs> I'm writing down everyone's name again because I can't remember names. Okay, Rusty's mine, Alder's the plant, Sean is Watson, Watson. and then the two I'm having the hardest time with. Which ones are the other two? Navarro and Sarah. How do you spell those? 
N A V A R R O, I believe. Yeah. Navarro and Sarah. I that? put it in the chat. Oh, making me click on buttons. S E R A. No H. Yep. Spelled okay. all medievally, like I think. Mm -hmm. She came from a common household. She was the daughter of a preacher. Humble, uh, hit, humble, uh, like. Okay, so she's little a village preacher. Been what? Human or what one? What, Sarah? Yeah. Yeah, human. Okay, human, and then Navarro is um. Half elf. Half elf. Watson, I don't think I'm gonna forget. A gnome. Even though I will say dwarf, I can always say that. Alder. Plant thingy. Rusty. Giant cow. Okay, I've got everyone down. I should be happy now. Okay, so I assumed that um, Navarro and Rusty would go to the market district first to get the loot, so that way we could have a or whatever, to so we would have a better performance. Yep. And Alder's just kind of behind them. And Alder's with us just because we like Alder, and he um he makes everything more interesting. Well, that and Sarah kind of left her post, and she tried to order uh Alder to do that without talking. Which probably didn't go as well as anyone hoped. Well, what's an ordering, you know? Well, ordering. We say ordering, but it's more of a, hey, you do that, would you? Yes, friend. <laughs> yes, friend. Okay. Where, where Sarah would just look, actually probably try something along the lines of ordering. Okay, Jeffrey, who do you want to go over first? Um, Watson and Sarah? Going to the uh, library or Alder, Watson, and Rusty. I mean, yeah, we're gonna, we're Alder, gonna do, Rusty, and yeah. Zara going to the store. We we'll do, do the those. entertaining thing first. Entertaining thing first. Okay, Navarra, go and bargain. Okay, I'm going to go to the drum store. Or stand, so, whatever that so would you're, be. So you're in the trade district now? Yes. Okay. I is think it, Alder might be trying to follow Navarro more than Rusty because... Is, is Rusty still preaching to the public? No, we didn't go. We decided to go to okay. get him a um, musical Drum. instrument first to make our Drum. speech and mm -hmm. or yeah. performance better. Yeah. So he doesn't have to power scream all his spells. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to go find a store with which I can either buy a new drum or get drum repair. Okay. While you both are walking around, you know, it's a bazaar, so that you always got people trying to barter, and shopkeepers trying to stop you to sell you stuff that you probably don't want. Alder has no money. That's funny. One man would like to buy Alder. <laughs> <laughs> Alder Navarro asks, just... how much are you asking for? <laughs> just out of curiosity. Some and, and, neutral and, good and, bard you are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just curiosity. I'm not going to do it. While y'all are uh, walking, a an elf stops you. He's like, hey, uh, I can't help but see you have a, a blight here. I I tend to uh, breed them. <laughs> I, I I would like to purchase this one. Who and breeds I'm wondering... blights? <laughs> yeah, what is? Aren't we like literally? Where did they next breed them? The His name is Sammy, the blight breeder. He's breeding <laughs> blights now. What if the lights hammer smash his ass in like ten different dimensions for doing that? <laughs> he does it on the low. The, <laughs> the light hammer, the light hammer doesn't have much of an influence in uh in Aethelwood. It's mainly managed by the North Order. Which Where is in like, the world does he does he <laughs> hold all those blights? Because those things We're kill totally forests. The fucking yeah. Goliaths need to actually make yeah. that work. Do not ask how Sammy does it. He just does. You don't want to know. He is a wizard. Details. Ask all these questions, sir. He there is are a videos wizard online of how he does, does it. How Look he at does. it in your free time. How do you have an illegal blight smuggler and breeder? <laughs> in one you're of the in, largest you're in, he's on the fucking planet. You're in the bazaar. You are going to be finding some shady people. You found <laughs> shady guy number one. <laughs> she doesn't even begin to describe this guy. <laughs> Up to the half elf, the fucking Minotaur is like. Whatever He's not going to be very shady after all those trees are killed. <laughs> and a plant monster. <laughs> Which I suppose in this case, the plant monster would be the less surprising thing. Okay, so. Are, are, are y'all going to give him a starting price? No, we I, are asking. We're asking his starting price. Oh, so you ask Sammy his, his starting price? Yeah. <laughs> How much are you asking for? Uh, about, say, 100 gold. 
I don't know uh, the exact quality. Not either. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Well, what can this blight do that others can't? He just uh, killed he a burnt witch. Through it. He literally grabbed oh. a witch and he drowned them in the river. <laughs> now you see, those are traits I like to pass down in my blight. <laughs> <laughs> That is not how that works. <laughs> DM says it works that way. <laughs> they pollinate each other very peacefully and sexually. <laughs> that is not how any of that works. It's it doesn't know. <laughs> Granted, Alder doesn't know how it works because he's got the downs, probably. But uh... I just imagine they all talk like that. Why do they ever sound anything close to human? What the they don't. What they do? Touch twigs? Like there's this underground caverns that okay. he keeps up We are we <laughs> are assuming we are assuming that Alder is a boy. <laughs> he, as we saw with the witch, he's got vines. If Alder was a girl, he would have flowers instead of that vines. That is not how that That's works. How, you know what? We're in Aethel Wood. We're in Jeffrey's world now. <laughs> the DM says it. Okay. That's how it works. Darn it. Ruling with Andy, an iron fist. Anyway. He's like, okay, well, so some nice feet. How about, say, 300 gold? Hmm. You might get sold, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> some neutral good bard, you fucking are. <laughs> I'm not going to sell him. <laughs> but the price is getting rather high, I have to say. I... He, 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 he pauses and looks at him. The highest I can go is 375. I do not believe this blight specifically is worth more than 375. I feel like I'm doing you a deal right now. This blight is more helpful than you could possibly imagine he be and, on these kinds and, of terms. And he's like, and how about I decrease the price to 350? But <laughs> I'll give you some of my specially grown blight seeds. Grow your own new one. You, <laughs> think about it. You could become a breeder as well. I ask him, what would he give me for Crazy-Eyed Steve as I point to him across the way? <laughs> <laughs> He's a blight to our intelligence. Mm. Everyone but Alders. <laughs> now, see, you want my brother Samewise. He's the one that deals with human trafficking. <laughs> <laughs> well, this just got pretty fucking dark. <laughs> okay. Wow. Where, where can we that find this guy? I, I just, I just gotta know. Just, just. Can wonder. Alder roll insight on the strange man who keeps talking about blights? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Shit, that dice would roll off the counter. That one did too. Fuck me. <laughs> uh, fifteen. Okay, what is he trying to figure out? He wants to know. He wants to know the uh, intentions of the <laughs> strange blight talking man. The strange man, he figures out, he basically, he wants to take away Alder from his new friends, but in exchange, his new friends will become very wealthy. He Alder has gets no that concept idea. of wealth. Okay, well, he understands that that Alder might get traded for <laughs> equal value. <laughs> Alder, Alder might replaced. Go away. Alder, go away. <laughs> Friends, get good thing. Alder don't want to go away. Alder, do, I, I figured Alder don't want to go away. <laughs> Off in the distance. We're like two steps away from Alder, from Alder trying this whole intimidating thing. <laughs> no. Off in the distance, Watson turns over to Sarah. I sense a disturbance. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah <laughs> looks at him like he's crazy. Back there. <laughs> I, I declined the offer, but ask what other shady goods or shady people could we get in this area? Oh, well, you see, uh, there, there are a lot of different people. I, Can I, I Alder pull was... insight on Rusty to figure out what he means by that? <laughs> sure. <laughs> insight! Uh, 15 again. So what are you trying to figure out? Legitimately, Alder wants to know why Rusty wants all of these apparent shady things. Legitimately wondering what we can get, because we've already got to trying to buy a living plant and saying that we could sell a person. So I'm curious at this point what else is possible. Two uh, camels and a rooster. <laughs> Alder does not seem to like Rusty's outlook on the situation. He 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 pities him a little bit. <laughs> Assuming he understands what pity is. No, he understands what pity is. Okay. He has wisdom. He's just not very smart. Okay, then what else? What other shady people around? What can we get? What is his answer? 
Oh, he's like, well, uh, like I said, we got Samwise for human trafficking. Uh, uh, you we know, got... Samwise Ganji, he's, you know, he he had to make a new business for himself after he went up yeah. that Mount Doom, that thing yeah. he what did. Yeah. Uh, they're like, we do have a little bit of an underground money laundering scheme. You'll find that in a lot of businesses. Um, <laughs> Who just says that? <laughs> to random people on the street asking for shady people. Business is not going well. <laughs> He's trying to get as many customers as he can. Okay, I've got a specific that ends, question like, isn't now. Isn't Joel walking around looking like the most official goddamn minotaur in the entire fucking <laughs> continent? <laughs> yeah, but most humans are slightly prejudiced against minotaur, so he don't really care. <laughs> Okay, question. Do you have do you know anyone who sells um possibly some shady musical instruments that could increase one's persuasion in increasing funds and um Ooh, you know magic I mean. instruments. Ooh, he, he laughs. Ooh, Enchanted it, instruments. He looks left, he looks right. You're looking for illegal curses, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you can also silver your weapons, by the way. Wait, I've what? learned that out. You can actually get your weapons coated in silver. Is that to kill the werewolves? Uh, it's basically kind of a pseudo magic weapon. Well, I don't see why I'd need a silver coated drum. I'm not hitting people with the drum. <laughs> that sounds. That sounds like it would sound. You don't terrible. know that. Rusty might want to get silver coated horns. Oh, okay. So out of Goring all, fires. so out of all the, <laughs> uh, funny. out of all the stuff that Sammy mentioned, is anyone interested in any of Sammy's services? Hmm. Oh. I'm interested in how much crazy eyes Neve will go for. <laughs> uh, he he he, 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 he looks He looks at crazy Steve. Two acorns on a ball of string. <laughs> does he actually like show the acorns, or does he just say it? No, he jokes. I was about to say if he actually yeah. like holds out acorns, Alder will just take them. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> just Deal. Alder. Alder's Alder's just in the back sold. <laughs> He has no money. <laughs> He's about to get some. <laughs> to what some does he need money for? He's also not wearing clothes. Some acorn currency. <laughs> and then at that point, you would add two acorns and a ball of string to his inventory. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So that 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 aside, is anyone interested in anything that Sammy can offer? I wouldn't mind some of those enchanted instruments. Yes, please. It... Fuck around with the cursed instruments. That's a great idea. <laughs> He, I'm he, curious. Look, he looks intently at Navarro. So you would like the illegal curses then? Um. Well, I'd like <laughs> to be able to perform in public places. <laughs> so that preferably well, not. Not okay. Would okay. they be able to um, detect the curses? Is what he's asking. Would any common person be able to detect that they're being under the influence of a cursed instrument? He's like, oh no, well, uh, you know, it, it's not. They're they're not detectable. But I mean, yes, obviously, please, so there's not going to be any black Please walk around and travel just... with like the world's fucking paladin organization <laughs> with cursed goddamn items. <laughs> yes, that sounds like a great idea. That's enchanted. I want enchanted, not cursed. That's he, so terrible. He, he's like, he's like. The thing is, is that uh, like, like say, let's let, 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 let's say an enchanted guitar. Looking right. at it, you're not going to be able to notice any kind of difference. But when it strums, the, the sound it carries a persuasive type of magic, for example. Wait, doesn't Navarro want his electric guitar back? I do want my electric guitar back, but they're not going to have it. Okay, I, I step to the side with Navarro and lean in close and say, if we turn these guys into the authority, we may get a reward. That's true, too. I say we I also that. need a new drum. You might be enough to pay for your new drum, and we'll make you know a pretty little penny. Maybe. Alder Probably walks over like, what luckily. is a penny? <laughs> if we get one, I'll give one to you. Mm-hmm. Is it one of the tiny things that everyone... Oh, okay, so, so 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 Sammy goes, I can see y'all are... are we're in somewhat in the same ballpark, so... We have this, <laughs> we, we have this underground bazaar, in, in quotes, and uh, I can take you there if you wish. What does Dreamcraft do again? <laughs> <sighs> hmm... I like how quickly downhill this is going. <laughs> <laughs> and to your left, you'll find the human trafficking ring. To your I have... right, there's a dog fighting ring. Jeffrey, did, I have you, a go- did you play the goal? Out? No. Okay. I, I, have, <laughs> I, I have a goal. But I oh, by the way, um, it's going to be funny. Can Alder cast Druidcraft to help predict the weather? 
uh, what I don't not sure what that has to do with the weather. Does it say something about the weather? You create a timeless, a tiny harmless sensory effect that predicts the weather, what the weather will be at your location for the next 24 hours. The effect might manifest as a golden orb for clear skies, a cloud of rain, falling snowflakes for for snow, so on. The effect persists for one round. Alder just wants to know what the weather's like. That's fine. He casts, it, it, Druidcraft is a cantrip, so he's just, yeah. maybe during this whole conversation he just holds his hand out, like, yeah. just trying to use magic to figure out what the weather is. It will rain later today. Okay. Okay. I... Alder just knows that. Maybe, like, there's a little, like, rate, like, there's some, like, water droplets, like, falling into his hands he's... <laughs> as he's just standing there. <laughs> okay. I would like to roll for a perception check to see if I can figure out what he's planning when we get there, if there's any, you know, if he tries, is planning on putting me in the bull market <laughs> or anything <laughs> negative like that. Uh, the that bull market is... <laughs> He's going to put you in an arena and tell you to charge at people with red Because I can tell this is quickly going downhill. So. <laughs> Just to interject, um, wait. Uh, if you want to figure out his intentions, that's more of an insight check. Okay, either way, insight check then. Okay, roll. I got 11. And no modifier. Uh, wait, but it says you have a plus 4 to insight. Wait, nope, that's a Navarre. Never mind, I'm stupid. Yes, I have plus 4. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah you, you, you can't really tell him. you can't really tell if there's any like what he's up to but you you wonder if there is actually a underground bazaar i'll roll insight too because he is because... sketchy i mean he just tried to sell us blight seeds <laughs> <laughs> and buy crazy eyes steve just for a i got a, a 16 are known if they are uh yeah. just for reverend jeffrey blights if they stay in one location too long are known to destroy entire villages that's fine same yes, and he just has a farm oh. of them I don't know. I just got home. Oh, you just got home? Mm -hmm. okay. I don't know. Where, uh, Shelby's upstairs, I guess. Is she? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, you want to move Grandma's stuff back into her house tomorrow or Wednesday? Uh, <coughs> probably tomorrow, <coughs> tomorrow, I guess. Okay, we'll do it. I'm going to get here about 9, maybe go about, about 10 o'clock. Okay. 10, 10 ish, 10 30. All right. Okay. Come on, I'm back. We're sorry for your loss, Jeffrey. Yep. Okay, anyway, <coughs> he rolled a 16 insight on seeing what if he can figure out what he's up to. Uh, you, you, you figure, like, this might not be the best idea, but at the same time, I could, I could gain from this. Gonna, so you you just kind of get like you, 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 you just kind of <laughs> get like a, get like a feeling. This probably isn't a good idea, but it could be good for me. And worst case scenario, you say you don't want to buy anything and then you leave. I, I, I whisper to Navarro. I say, even better, the reward will be bigger if this thing is real and we can turn him in. I say we go just to see what he has to say and see what we can find out about it. Plus, <laughs> if it's underground. Then we c that you can take shelter from the rain. <laughs> it Is will it? rain later today. <laughs> Cloudy skies incoming. <laughs> <laughs> Puts on a weatherman shirt. <laughs> and, and here's the altar with the rain weather. <laughs> it's going rain. I thought you said feather. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Family Guy. It's going rain. <laughs> Space Thank radar. You. All mm -hmm. I don't know. Alder doesn't know what he's <laughs> really what he's supposed to be doing. Okay. Here's I'll... Ollie with the weather. How's the weather looking, Ollie? Space weather! Thanks, Ollie. <laughs> okay, so I'm leaving the final decision up to um, Navarro if, you know, we go or not, because it's, you know, his enchanted item. I really have just... It doesn't matter to me anymore. I'm getting slightly impatient, to, you know, be ready to go and make my speech. Well, personally, me as a bard thinks I shouldn't go anywhere where I could get beat up. But you do have a giant bull. But I also have a... a giant tree and a millet minotaur. <laughs> <laughs> and it, hmm. it's it would you know you would go if Sarah was there. Yeah, we can go. Sure. <laughs> Jeffrey okay. smiles as he knows okay. what's going down. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so Sammy goes. Okay, so you have the intent to look at these illegal items. I don't like the way this is going. So <laughs> sounds I... like a trap. <laughs> Should I call our friends? I. How would you call our friends? <laughs> I would go find them. <laughs> I, I carefully you, word. You don't what even I... know where we are. You can see 120 feet in front of you. <laughs> I carefully word what I say. 
I uh, would like to see what you have to offer, no matter, you know, what its origin is, because it could be of interesting origins, but I am not going to specifically see something that may or may not be cursed. If it's illegal, don't tell me, so I don't have to be Okay, okay so, so you are giving me your consent to show you possibly <laughs> illegal items. <laughs> this sounds really bad. Yeah, I, I, at this point, <laughs> I, he, he stopped abort, me. abort. <laughs> at this point, we're both backing away, being like, you know what, this is no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Alder is just standing there. <laughs> he, he's like, please. <laughs> He's like, please calm down. You see, you see, s s to keep it away from the feds, we really have to keep you things down. You are fed. No, and he he's like, to keep it away from the feds, we have to make sure that we have proper procedures. I'd say you sound like a fed, and this I ain't going to jail over curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they do to bulls like me in prison? <laughs> They can play rodeo with bulls like me. Exactly. I don't want no strange man riding on me. I don't want to go to the rodeo. <laughs> they have strange face painted men with wearing tiny hats. Mm -hmm. So I'm out. I'm saying I'm out. Okay. Yeah, He's like, he, and he, yeah okay. Work. Sammy walks away. It's like, well, I guess y'all don't want to see the, uh, the loot of Aethelwood. The and loot of Aethelwood? The root of Aethelwood? Loot, sir, not root. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he's like, you see, it was recently stolen from the museum, but you know, it's not for sale. It, it, we're just, we're just offering looks at it for right now. It might be still for sale one day, but uh, <laughs> why, why would you, would you something steal something and not and immediately not try to fence it? That it, sounds... it, it, it? They're just trying to be safe. Also, why would you show it off to the entirety of the black market if you know it was stolen? <laughs> And why would you and offer not it to two to random it, people? The black market gives no fucks. <laughs> well, see, it's not it's not mine. It's just other people <laughs> in the underground market. It's other have people, it, have it. and I don't care about their security. It's, I'm just saying, I have the I have the power to show it to you. You don't need to buy anything. I mean, it's, it's just kind of cool, you know. It still sounds really sketchy. <laughs> I, I I'm. I, I would really say it's time for another, um, what, what do you say, another check on this specific intention? <laughs> is there another insight check? Yeah, to see if the loot of Aetherward is really a thing, or... Oh, yeah, to see if you, like, you remember hearing about it or something. Well, that's not a memory check, it's, a, um, but, I, well, that would probably be for me, because I would have, <coughs> a, um... Well, yeah, if you're trying under. to figure out, like, if you've heard of something that's a history check by okay. nature... <clears throat> then I'll roll a history check for that. Okay, um, I guess 9 I'll do plus it too. 3, I did 13, so... It sounds... History! Ah, oh, darn it. I assume it sounds familiar, but I'm not really history. sure. History! Ah! History! I got a 12. Okay, well, well you, you both have definitely heard of it. You know, it, it was a... it was It's kind of like a weapon, but it was more of used like a support thing during one of the big wars. Mm. So, it, it's a powerful artifact. Okay. I, I would also like to roll an insight check on, you know, his intentions for trying to show us this item. You okay. may roll. I shall do the same. I got a 13. Huh. Did you get any yeah, I did. <laughs> no. I got an 11. I guess so. You know how she is. You know how she is. How she be. Mm. Yep. Okay. I got a 13. And I got, got an 11. 11. Okay, well, uh, Navarro Put doesn't really your roles, man. Neither of you really, really can tell anything other than, you know, he's just trying to get some form of business <laughs> a, out of this. He's about as sketchy as we thought he was beforehand. <laughs> okay, like I said, again, leaving this up to Navarro, this is his magical instrument. This is his area of expertise. I'm just I mean, hey, if this thing's, like, some really real cool deal. thing, it'd be nice if we had our wizard with us, but hey, we can go check it out. <laughs> okay. If nothing oh, no. else, we have a giant tree and a bull. We'll kill some people. He, he says, so you are giving me your consent to show you this illegal item. <laughs> abort, abort. <laughs> no, back out again, Jeffrey. We're back out again. I think it's with the word consent that Joel and Christopher lose their minds. Jeffrey, we know the word consent We're not consent putting this in a legal document. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's the... I mean, was it a cursed loot to begin with? No, it's just a magical loot. Uh, Aethel, Aethelus the Wise, from way back in the day, made it for his bard friend. And you know what's not wise? Going to a dark alley to see a loot. 
It's not a dark. <laughs> it's not a dark alley. You don't have these sort of things in brightly lit places, Jeffrey. You have these in dim lit alleys where you get shamed. Underground. And you, that, that would Who's be shady. Shake a it's dark. You don't have well lit underground areas. I can John. see in the dark. <laughs> His name is like, see. I can see in the dark. I kind of want to go see it. We also well, let's have, not forget, like a couple days ago, um, Rusty was stabbed. <laughs> I just got skeleton? stabbed, man. I ain't about to get stabbed again. I can heal you. I'm a healer. Not if you he... get stabbed too. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I like a lot. It's like, like I said, it's, it's very professional. It's just we like to make sure that everything's sound before we do it to make sure the feds aren't trying to out us. <laughs> We're gonna. End and now jail. he's like, y'all resistance is turning me off a little bit. Make me think y'all might be the feds. <laughs> You're asking for some c consents, turning us off a little bit too. It's what we have to do. You see, guards in their in their code of honor, they have to consent. All Let's go ask the guard and see what they say. They, 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 they cannot. If, so if, the, if they it. are the feds, they are not allowed to consent. That's in the rules. That's why we have this. Uh, they don't Jeffrey? have to consent. They can just arrest you. No, the rules are weird. They have not updated them since the Aethelus days. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm rolling for a history check on the rules for this area. <laughs> I'm rolling a perception check on this guy to see if he's a fake top. <laughs> okay, I got a 13 Alder's on Alder's gonna roll check. insight to figure out what this whole consent word is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my, my history gave me a 13. Do I Goddamn. remember anything about the laws? You remember that the laws have not been updated, but you have not heard of this law. So you figure that since the laws haven't been updated, this is probably realistic. Okay, Older rolls a 13 as to what this whole consent thing means. You mistake the word consent for cheese. <laughs> <laughs> On a 13? He's asking for cheese. Yep. <laughs> Older has no cheese. I'm not even no sure Older knows what cheese is. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what a cow is. Give him the consent. <laughs> I'll give you consent. Oh my. <laughs> you give me consent. <laughs> I consent you. You See, this consent is why it's me. good Sarah isn't here. Otherwise, she would start getting a bit. <clears throat> she'd start doing her job. Oh, okay. yeah. I got a 17 for the perception check to see whether or not he's a cop. Uh, You, you figure, like, this guy is probably a cop. The, the, the signs are pointing. Okay. But he also could not be. And I could see the loot of Aethelwood. Eh. Uh,. Jeffrey, you do realize 15 is... What, what was 15? 10 was considered medium. I think 15 was considered the hard one. As far as traditional DCs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jeffrey's trying to get us to do it. He's trying to get us in jail, so I'm saying no. <laughs> I'm, at this point, I am taking um, uh, Navarro by the shoulder and pulling him away, saying it's time to go to a real shop. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. Do the shop. Bye bye. Alder waves to this man and just follows behind them. Sam, Sammy was a guard in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping y'all would do it so you could have gone to jail and had to pay a fine. No, no. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, 17. <laughs> that was the last thing, you know. Okay, okay. Y'all. Okay. Since we, took, since we took so long on that, now let's flash to Sarah and uh, Watson. Okay. I like that the two socially awkward characters are the ones who now have to roleplay. Yeah. <laughs> now they're just oh, with each other. Sean's just going to be talking their ear off and it's going to get smacked across the room. Actually, while you guys are going to do that, I'm going to go make tea. I'll be back. What kind of tea? No, is what, it hot tea? Sweet what's tea? What's in the library? Uh, hot black tea. Ooh. I'd like it's a cup like, of Earl uh, Grey, please. Uh, I don't have Earl Grey. I have, like, African. <laughs> Kenya. Like Jeffrey, I Kenya. think it's time for us to do our racist Indian voice since he said Africa. No. <laughs> it is time for the tea now. Let's just go Back to our tea. Diddy Kong racing days. Diddy, we need to finish that, Jeffrey. Yep. And if only Come you would back. upload something on YouTube. I will go and upload this right now to YouTube. I will live stream this on Twitch. Episode 3. <laughs> Episode 3, The Phantom Menace. But yeah, Sarah's still carrying her greatsword around and is thinking okay. that's probably not the best, like... Full chainmail armor and a great... Well, full chainmail minus a helmet. And a great sword may not be the best attire to walk into a library. Nope, the guards are not happy, but they're not saying anything. <laughs> they're just so she really, at this point, doesn't have uh, much other options. Yeah. 
It's not exactly like she, I'm. She, I'm. I'm gonna say before she walks into the library, the guards ask her to disarm, and they will hold on to her weapon while she's in the library. Sarah does not trust these people. <laughs> well, then she's not getting in the library. She kind of looks around, um, because she has all her weapons. Basically, she has her great sword kind of, you know, resting on her shoulder normally, and um, basically her belt has her long sword and her hand axes. Mm-hmm. She's thinking that maybe she should have concealed and tried to conceal a knife or something. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you're in one of the most powerful places in the country. I don't really think she's gonna have to worry about being attacked or want to, you know, make the guards think she's up to something. Yeah. I mean, she's that. also someone's going to jail one way or another today. We are talking about somebody who's been exper- experimented on by warlocks and weird demonic <laughs> shit in a place of highly concentrated paladins. Plus, does Sarah that... just does not trust the church. Does not trust church types. Does Which is Watson probably have the anything to say about them trying to disarm her? Sarah, if, like, Sean? probably may, may, Watson probably just walks through while Sarah if, reluctantly acquiesces and like disarms herself. Okay. They put it in a box for you to take on the way out. <laughs> box, Sarah's weapon. Yes, the six-foot-long sword. <laughs> it is a very large box. <laughs> the R is written backwards on the box. <laughs> weapons. <laughs> weapons. Uh. Sarah's weapons. <laughs> anyway, Sarah walks through and I guess joins Watson because... Mm-hmm. Okay, so, so it's, in, it's a magical library. So they have like little panels you can touch. And it'll like, search for books for you and stuff. Brooks. So. Finding books aren't going to be a problem. Sarah goes to find every book on demons and demonology she can get her hands on. Okay. That's a lot of books. <laughs> Just the whole... And... Every... Everything written in common, everything written in Infernal, she just starts ordering like a, basically a big pile of books mm-hmm. because she needs to know... She wants, she wants to know mainly how to kill them. Yep. Okay, what is Sean looking for? I mean, Watson. He's currently looking at how to run an electric Pokemon gym. Dun, oh da, da, dun, da, da, dun, dun, He's currently dun, dun. just looking at random books. Mm-hmm. Random books on um, magic. Are you looking for spells to try and learn? Yes. I mean, okay. If such a thing exists in this area. Sean, we're standing in the middle of probably one of the largest magical libraries on the continent. There, there's something. There yeah, everything. it should be there. You, you can pick up a couple first level spells here. <laughs> so yeah, basically all it will take for you is fifty gold and two hours for to learn a new spell, or twenty five gold and an hour to add a new transmutation spell to your spell book. <laughs> Currently looking to see if there's anything that I care to find. Well, at least anything you think you might want, like right now. <clears throat> you know who could use a few new uh, spells? Crazy Eyed Steve. <laughs> oh fixes gosh. Crazy eye. Exactly. He looks up spells out of Fix's Crazy Eye. Hey, friend, what are you doing in here? He says as he starts messing up their books. Um, is there a way for Sarah to search anything about, uh, Harbinger? Is there uh, a way for her to magically key search that word? Yep. Because she wants to figure out what the hell that is. Yep. Key search. Alright, so are you, are you gonna read the book, basically? What? With Reading is for shit? squares. Yeah. Oh no, she grabs, like, everything she can. Demons, okay. warlocks, demonology, okay. basically everything she can. Okay. And maybe she pulls out maybe a little note, maybe like a a small like little journal or something yeah. and tries to either etch out or grabs mm-hmm. a nearby quill or something. I guess she doesn't have a quill or anything. Maybe she just tries to memorize or like grab a quill or something and just try and write something down. Yeah. You know, because right now it is basically all focus on the demonology stuff. <laughs> and Watson's just doing whatever Watson's doing. Watson's doing his thing. What is Watson doing? Trying to learn spells, I would assume. Currently failing to find anything he finds remotely interesting at this level. Sean's just yeah, googling that's... an online library to see if he can find something. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. I didn't actually expect that to be a thing. 
Well, I'm looking through the um, the online list to see if there's anything that would be beneficial to learn at this level. Well, I mean, you're a wizard, so more stuff is good. Everything is yep. good. Learn it all. But I guess the question is, um, are there any... Like, you could learn Absorb Elements. I could... Or shield. Those are pretty nice to have if you need if you um want to have a contingency in case you get hit by something. Oh, yeah, I think absorb elements might be transmutation actually. It is abjuration. Okay. That's actually good because um that's basically abjuration evocation, the only thing Eldritch Knights really can learn. I'll be right back. Okay. No, the DM can't leave. I assume that we're taking a break now. Momentarily. Oh, okay. Uh, appears to be the case. Okay, this is a good I'm, break time. Okay. I'm the base on looks for spells. Such, 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 for such and such break.